my beloved brothers and sisters, today I wish to go through 11 verses of the Quran, very short but very powerful, connected to the protection and the seeking of protection from Allah. Who is Allah? And what exactly are we seeking protection from? So the Prophet ﷺ was shown in his dream. He was, it was actually revealed to him in a certain way what happened to him and where it was done. He sent one of his companions to go and look for that comb. And lo and behold, there were 11 knots. As he released each one of the knots, he recited each verse that was being revealed. Subhanallah. Do you know how powerful that is? Allah is telling Rasulullah sallallahu and by extension all of us say, I seek the protection in the Lord of the daybreak. Whoever created daybreak, I ask him to protect me. Subhanallah. Look how powerful that is. Say that I seek the protection in the Lord of daybreak, the one who made the daybreak and who allows it to continue to come on a daily basis. So much so that did you realize daybreak is a creation of Allah that never ever disobeys Allah. Such that other creatures of Allah can give you the precise nanosecond that this sun is going to come up. You and I know we have a perpetual calendar here in this masjid that will tell you sunrise this time. Does daybreak ever say today I'm not coming? Subhanallah. May Allah grant us ease. We learn what obedience is when we look at the other creatures of Allah. But man with his sophisticated brain still thinks it's okay. Today I'll have a break. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. So we are seeking the protection in Allah. Who is Allah, the Lord of the daybreak? From what do I want protection from? From the evil of that which he created. So he created good things. But within those good things, there can be evil that will come from those good things. For example, you have a human being. Allah created mankind for various reasons. That's a topic on its own. But within mankind, sometimes evil can come out of them. Allah created the darkness. In the darkness sometimes, and the darkness is not a bad thing. Within darkness, we actually have a very blessed moment where we would fulfill a prayer that is so valuable known as tahajjud. Had it not been for that time of the night or that time of the morning, whatever you want to call it, based on how you look at it, you would not be able to achieve that closeness to Allah. And remember something that I find very, very amazing and a sign of the mercy of Allah is he did not make the prayer of tahajjud compulsory. If he made it compulsory, it might have been difficult on us. Imagine you go to sleep, you get up at a certain time, just when you're getting a good sleep. Allah says, we will keep it voluntary, but we will recommend it and we will show you the value of it. And you know what? You get to a level when you decide, I'm going to fulfill this for the sake of Allah. It's darkness, right? Outside. But the most enlightening ibadah is happening at the darkest hour. So it doesn't mean all of what Allah has created within the darkness is evil. Allah created the day and the night. Those are good things. But within the night, a lot of evil happens. So what do we say? We say, And I seek his protection. I seek the protection of the one who created the daybreak from the darkness when it sets in. Ghasiq. The darkness when it sets in. As the darkness settles, people feel insecure. Sometimes, subhanallah, the lighting is not good enough. At times you know that you hear sounds and you feel a little bit uneasy. You are supposed to be a mu'min, a believer. The minute you seek the protection of Allah, there should be a comfort within your heart. I have read my dua. It's called mu'awwidat. Mu'awwidat, those verses were in which you are seeking the protection of Allah. Ayatul Kursi is one of the most powerful. But today we are speaking of the last two surahs of the Quran known as Al-Mu'awwidatan. The two surahs within which you seek the protection of Allah from all evil. So we are saying, Oh Allah, I seek your protection from the darkness as it settles. Min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab. 
وَمِن شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ And we are seeking the protection of the Lord of Daybreak from the blowing. The blowing that happens upon the knots wherein people are intending to engage in magic. What does this mean? Number one, the evil of magic. Number two, the tying of knots and the blowing in those knots is a type of magic. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Man sahara faqad ashrak. Whoever engages in that has disassociated from Allah or associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To engage in magic is haram, totally haram. How to protect myself from the evil of magic is by reading this surah every morning, every evening. Not just once, repeat it thrice with Ayatul Kursi. And you will be protected. Allah is telling you, you are saying, Oh Allah, protect me from the evil of the blowing into the knots of the one who is going to blow into it. The evil that will come out of it, protect me from it. Oh Allah, I seek your protection from the jealousy of the one who is jealous. May Allah protect us.